the continuous discourse on the gateless gate gets stuck up in beaten because the satsang in now devanali ashram is all crowded with the neighborhood people who wanted me to help them with diabetes yoga therapy and naturopathy and acupressure three items i have taken to uh, settle scores with the neighborhood gastric they have a lot of gastric problems headaches and piles stomach related problems and they have cancer then thyroid so yesterday we took the practice on thyroid on yoga asana acupressure and it took around one and a half hours <laughs> 6 to 7:30 then we could record it up then there were a lot of visitors in the ashram on a sunday so today i said okay today we are not going to have satsang we cannot have yoga class no yoga therapy morning i am going to sit and have the discourse back into my studio this is my dabba small <laughs> studio joshu washes the bowl the seventh Story from the Gateless Gate, written by Paul Trips from the Zen Flesh Zen Bones. A monk told Joshu, "I have just entered the monastery. Please teach me." Joshu asked, "Have you eaten your rice porridge?" The monk replied, "I have eaten." Joshu said, "Then you had better wash your bowl." At that moment, the monk was enlightened. Joshu washes the bowl. I have just entered the monastery. Please teach me. That one sentence itself went wrong. Because in the previous story we have seen, in the moment he knocked the door, when the master opened the door, said, "I, I have come to learn Zen," and the master. shuts the door and the second time he knocks the door the master opens and said can you teach me what is zen and the master catches his catches him by the collar drags him to the first floor and threw him out of the window he broke his hands and legs he was hospital for 6 months and after 6 months when he came he again knocked the door master opens the door he bowed master bowed master turn around he walked behind the master and 12 years he stayed to become one of the greatest masters when you when you insist on learning something that is your even your question was a borrowed knowledge it was not from your samskriti it was not from from your passionate it was not not passion passionately in love you have to have a, a love for a particular subject hence many many people nowadays tell the students are forced languages forced ideology into the students hence they become so dull when the ch- children become so dull when they are not in passion love with a particular subject they will not have an interest to be creative to penetrate to roar like a thousand man warrior hence there was a poverty in the land hence there was many diseases hence there are many hospitals which sprung up and many people are around to cheat hyenas foxes wild dogs all around to tear you into pieces joshu asked have you eaten your rice porridge the moment he asked him can you teach me the master's answer was Have you eaten your rice porridge? The monk replied, "I have eaten." That means what was available in the in my center. Have you observed it? Were you hungry about a particular subject? My trees, my beautifully laid out pedicured, manicured lawn. The amount of time I spent to make the trees grow so beautiful and trim it beautifully. Look at Martian, cleanliness next to godliness. Have you eaten that? Have you observed that? Have you fell in love with it? Have you understood what amount of time has been spent? 
And without even observing, you're asking me to teach. You are a robber. Do you think if I teach, you will share it with others? Because everything what you have, it, it should, the body should absorb. After absorbing, then it is having an observation power. Once it knows to absorb and observe, then you know, you have to have no worry because there won't be any poverty, there is, won't be any sickness, there won't be any disease. You don't have to have a military buildup to protect your land because when you spread to others with love, without expecting anything in return like a karma yogi, that becomes the greatest security. Joshua asked, have you eaten your rice porridge? The monk replied, I have eaten. Like anybody else, he said, have you studied? I studied by heart, but they have not understood anything. They studied for the sake of writing some rubbish, borrowed knowledge into the paper for them to get the marks. They do not know what is marks. They do not know what is rank. Just because it's a mass hypnotism, because somebody is writing, I should also write. That is on the children's part. Because everybody is going to the office for a salary, I get my money. They do not know that money is a dirt in the finger. It has got no value because that money is just a robbed money. It's a slave to money. It is not yours. But still, they have hypnotized you. You are rushing up to the factory. Did you observe the factory? If you observe the factory, if you have eaten the bowl, if you have eaten the porridge, yes, you have to eat it up when you go to the factory, yes.